What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and today iOS 9.0.2 was released, and as promised, I wanted to do a speed comparison test with iOS 9.0.1. As we all know, iOS 9.0.2 isn't the best when it comes to performance. There's a lot of lag, there is stutter, and just all around, it's not a very smooth upgrade from iOS 8.4.1. Well, I wanted to see if Apple had made it any better with iOS 9.0.2, and what better way to do that than to test it out on every single iPhone that is currently running iOS 9.0.2. So I'm going to be comparing iOS 9.0.1 to 9.0.2 on the iPhone 4S, 5, 5S, 6, and the new 6S. So this is a very tough video to make, but you know, it's probably the best way to see if there is really any difference. On one device, you may see a bigger difference than another because of course these all have different hardware. And uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're gonna be running several speed comparison tests to give you a good idea of whether or not iOS 9.0.2 is better in terms of speed than iOS 9.0.1. All right, so both of these devices are freshly restored. iOS 9.0.2 on the left, iOS 9.0.1 on the right. Here we go in three, two, one. And looks like 9.0.1 just a little bit faster, maybe by a second. So pretty close call here. Let's go ahead and go to the 5. All right, so the iPhone 5, 9.0.2 again on the left, 9.0.1 on the right. Here we go, in 3, 2, 1. And iOS 9.0.1 is faster again. Hmm, and there's nothing on these devices, so I'm curious as to why 9.0.2 is performing worse so far. All right, on to the 5S. 2, 1. And looks like about a second faster iOS 9.0.2. So, cool. Looks like there's a little bit of an improvement on the newer device. Onto the 6. 2, 1. Okay, so almost the same. And just to show you guys, these are on the correct firmware. So, last device, the iPhone 6S on 9.0.1 and 9.0.2. 2, 1. And these guys are so fast. I mean, it surprises me just how fast the 6S is. Okay, so definitely faster on iOS 9.0.2 over here than 9.0.1. And it's barely noticeable, but there was a difference. So let's go ahead and see how fluid iOS 9.0.2 is. Let's launch some things, app switcher, control center, some applications, and see how the speed compares. Okay, so after having all of these devices, application cache is cleared. Let's go ahead and launch some applications and see how iOS 9.0.2 compares on fluidity. Remember, the device on the left is on 9.0.2. All right, let's start with settings. Just about the same, let's try a sub. All right, so just about the same. You know, I wasn't able to notice any difference. Let's try App Store. And both are super, super slow, but 9.0.1 has a clear advantage here, actually. Wow. Okay, let's try Maps. 9.0.2, let's see the weather. All right, 9.0.2. Let's try the app switcher. Wow, so did you notice that how 9.0.1 jumped a little late? Yeah, definitely more fluid on 9.0.2. Try the control center. <laughs> Both terrible. Oh my gosh, that is awful. So, oh my gosh, how do people live with this? Yeah, so I was 9.0.2 is a little bit more fluid bringing down notification center or control center or launching the app switcher. There's no delay like there is on the 4S. So definitely an improvement on 9.0.2, maybe like 10% that I can see. On to the 5. All right, so on the iPhone 5, let's try settings. All right, about the same. And app store. Wow, 9.0.2 loaded that faster. Let's try maps. Uh, 9.0.1. Let's try iTunes. 9.0.2. Just a little bit faster. And weather. 9.0.2. Cool. All right. Let's try the app switcher. About the same. Both pretty stuttery. Control center. Definitely more fluid on 9.0.2. So just about the same. Launching applications, there's a definite improvement here on the 5 on 9.0.2. All right, iPhone 5S, let's try settings. App Store, 9.0.2. iTunes Store, 
So there isn't much of a hang on 9.0.2 and that loaded faster as well. Let's try maps. 9.0.1. All right, let's try the control center. Oh, did you see that stutter on 9.0.1? Definitely a little bit better. So one, two, one, two. It's a little smoother transitioning into the app switcher. Let's try control center. It's pretty terrible on both. Can't say if there's a definite improvement. On to these specs. All right, let's try launching settings. About the same app store. 9.0.1 maps. About the same. So can't say I'm noticing a difference here. Pretty much the same. Okay, let's try app switcher. Control center, notification center. So a little bit smoother, maybe bringing this guy up. And lastly, the new 6S. So go ahead and jump right into settings. 9.0.2 went to the sub menu faster in App Store. 9.0.1, definitely faster iTunes Store. 9.0.1 again in Maps. 9.0.2. About the same, maybe not 0.2 is a little bit faster. So looks like they're pretty much identical. I'm seeing a consistent result with 9.0.2 being a little bit faster and more fluid. But of course on the 6S, you shouldn't even have a problem with this. You got plenty of RAM to handle everything. So of course it's more evident on the older devices, but 9.0.2 seems to have a slight edge in terms of launching things. So let's go ahead and get a Geekbench running and see some actual numbers here. Okay, and here are those results. So are you guys seeing a pattern here? Because I am. I was 9.0.2, which is on the left for all of these, is better in the multi-core score on every single device except the 4S. So there is a small, very, very small improvement, but it certainly is there, especially on the iPhone 6S, it's a little more apparent. And I do trust this result because look at the single core score. It's just about the same on every single device. I mean, that's a pretty constant test right there. It's telling us that the multi-core score is better, whereas the single core didn't change whatsoever. So with this, we can definitely see under the cover improvements were made to 9.0.2. It is a little bit more fluid. Your apps will launch a little bit faster, especially the web-based apps. And on all devices but the 4S, I would recommend you go ahead and update because it's clear to me that it is a better, faster update. Let's go ahead and run a speed test and see Wi-Fi performance-wise how these fare. Okay, so here are the results of the Wi-Fi benchmark and take a look at these devices. I can consistently see that iOS 9.0.2 has a worse Wi-Fi download speed than 9.0.1 on the same device with nothing else different between them. I don't know why this is. Did Apple tweak something under the hood with Wi-Fi? The Wi-Fi is considerably better on 9.0.1 on every single device. Now, I'm really confused by this. Why or how Apple could go backwards with the Wi-Fi but looks like the Wi-Fi performance is a little bit worse. So it looks like Wi-Fi isn't the best on 9.0.2. It is a slight downgrade from 9.0.1. All right, so guys, that's just about it. With this video, I have compared 9.0.2 to 9.0.1 on every single iPhone that currently supports it. If you're wondering about the 5C, it's the same internals as the iPhone 5, so there is no point to test that. But with this test, I've seen that consistently, iOS 9.0.2 does have a higher Geekbench, so it will perform just a little bit better but when it comes to Wi-Fi, iOS 9.0.2 is a slight downgrade from 9.0.1, and every single device supports that claim. So I thought that was really interesting, but otherwise, it is a pretty safe bet for an update. All devices run a little bit better, a little bit more fluid. It's a step in the right direction, but iOS 9 is still not fixed. Hopefully, we see a total overhaul with the performance that Apple promised us soon in an iOS 9.1 or a 9.2 update. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this comparison. You can update to iOS 9.0.2 and expect better performance. Peace.